With over 1,700 different skins in Fortnite, today, guys, I'm going to show you 24 skins only tryhards use. This is going to be only the most tryhard skins in the game right now that you never see any bots or casuals using. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know which tryhard skin is your favorite in the comments down below. But we have to start this list off with Echo. Echo is easily one of the more underrated skins in the game. We probably don't see as many people using it, but whenever you see someone using this skin, they are definitely a tryhard player. They are going to be one of the sweatiest players you ever come across because they are using a skin like Echo. I feel like this is one of the more underrated skins that we do have in the game and one of the more forgotten skins as well. So many people have absolutely been loving this skin and we do have a bunch of different edit styles for this as well. But I just feel like since Fortnite has been adding so many different skins to the game, we just don't really see that many people using this anymore. If you are a tryhard player though, then you definitely need to own this and you can get it for quite a cheap price of only 1,200 V-Bucks. Let's move on though to the number 23 position and this is the Reaper. Now the Reaper is a really interesting skin. It is definitely known as a tryhard skin in Fortnite, but I feel like most people that are still using this today are actually going to be players returning to Fortnite after a few years. I think this is going to be a tryhard skin in the future. And we do see a bunch of tryhards still using this that have been playing Fortnite since the very beginning, but there are still some casuals using this, and that is why this skin is coming in at the number 23 position. One skin that I only ever see tryhards using in Fortnite, though, has to be the Dark Red Knight. Yes, guys, the Dark Red Knight has to be a skin that only tryhard players use. We have seen a bunch of people using this in the past, and there are a few different styles of this skin that people have been using as well, like the original Red Knight skin and the Frozen Red Knight, but the Dark Red Knight is pretty much a skin that I only ever see tryhard players using. It is one of my favorite skins as well. I feel like this is such an underrated skin and it is so, so detailed as well, but we just don't really have too many dark themed pickaxes in the game that would fit in with this skin perfectly. So for that reason, I feel like it is really underrated and we only ever see tryhard players using it. Another skin that I only ever see tryhards using though is Combat Tech Jewel. Now, now, when this skin was first introduced to the game, we did see a bunch of different players using this, including casual players, some noobs, and of course, sweats as well. But honestly, for the moment, I feel like the only people using this are going to be tryhard players. I actually really like this skin. I think it has a really clean design. It is obviously based off the original jewel skin that was introduced to the game back during chapter two, season three, and you could get this in the battle pass. Combat tech jewels was just added to the game a few weeks ago, though. It is a really underrated skin that only tryhard players seem to use and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. This skin probably won't reappear in the store either so this is only going to get more and more rare and if you guys do own it and you are a tryhard player Hopefully, you have been using this skin over the last few weeks. It definitely isn't one of the more popular skins in the game right now, though, so we may as well move on to one that is also quite underrated, and this is Pit Stop. Pit Stop is one of my favorite skins, though, but it is a skin that only tryhard players do end up using. I just feel like this seems like a tryhard skin. We have four different edit styles, and you can get this for only 1,200 V-Bucks, but I never really see too many casuals or bots using this skin today. I really do think it deserves to be a lot more tryhard hard than it is right now. It is such an amazing skin and it just never got the popularity that it deserved. But one skin that definitely did is Manic. Manic would easily be one of the more tryhard skins that we do see. And now that it has been in Fortnite since chapter one, we really only see tryhards using this in Fortnite right now. I just feel like we've seen so many people using this over the years that no one is really buying this skin each time it features in the store. But just because it has been in Fortnite for such a long time, whenever you come across someone using it, if they are still using this skin in Fortnite today, chances are they are going to be a tryhard player. There are a bunch of different edit styles for this as well, so you don't always need to buy brand new skins in Fortnite, you can just swap around the style that you are using on this skin. I love the way Manic looks though, it is one of my favorite skins, and it is also quite cheap as well, which just makes it even better. I feel like one of the main reasons why only tryhards are using this today is that now Cypher PK has his very own Icon Series skin. Back when this was his main skin, he was using it every single day, and then a lot of people that love Cypher were also using this skin, which naturally led to some bots and casuals using it as well. But now that he does have his very own skin,
skin, the only people that ever seem to use this skin are going to be by far some of the best players in the lobby. One skin that never really saw too many casuals using it though is actually Zadie. Zadie has been in Fortnite since the start of Chapter 2 and you can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks. There are a few different edit styles of this skin as well. We have a default style, we have a winter edit style and then a jungle edit style as well. But the only people that ever seem to use this skin are tryhard players. I think that is so, so sick. It has always been like that for some reason. I never see casuals or bots using Zadie and I just have no idea why. It is a really underrated skin. It has a really clean design though and you can make some amazing combos with this. So if you are a tryhard player, this is definitely a skin that you probably already own or you definitely need to own in the future. Let's move forward though guys to the number 17 position and we have Core. Core is a really underrated battle pass skin in Fortnite that was added back during chapter 2. This is one of those skins where you have seen so many different types of players using it over the last few years. We have seen absolute bots using this skin, we have seen absolute casual players and tryhard players using this skin as well. But now that it has been in the game for quite a while, I feel like the only people using this today are going to be some of the more tryhard players. We do actually see a few people using this in the more competitive game modes as well. Face Sway has started to use this a lot over the last few seasons which is really helping to boost its popularity and has definitely made me more aware of this skin in Fortnite today. I always loved this skin but I never really thought it got the popularity that it deserved and haven't really included it on the channel too much since chapter 2 but it's always good to see this skin making a resurgence again. One skin that has dropped off a lot though is going to be Siren. Even though this is one of the more tryhard skins in the game I still think this has actually dropped off quite a bit over the last few seasons and the only people that are using this right now are going to be extremely sweaty players. Whenever you get a skin like Siren that has been in the game for such a long time, people are going to start to get sick of this skin and definitely try out some of the other skins in their locker or just buy some new skins that do get added to the game. Since Siren has been in Fortnite for such a long time though, people are starting to get sick of it and that really only means that people are still using this today are going to be some of the best of the best players. We do have two different edit styles for this as well, but everyone seems to use the default style for this skin, so if you guys do want to stand out, I highly recommend trying out the Noir edit style. One skin that was released around the same time as this though is actually going to be the Psycho Bandit. The Psycho Bandit was released a few seasons earlier, back towards the end of Chapter 1 or Chapter 1 Season 10. This skin is so clean though, it was only really available in the store once and came to the game with the Borderlands crossover. You could buy this skin for around $40, but if you are like me and missed out on buying it, then you just haven't had an opportunity to get it since. Obviously though, that means that people that are still using this skin today have been playing Fortnite probably since the very beginning and have probably been playing every day since then. We see a lot of pros and streamers like Typical Gamer using this, but he could also be considered a tryhard player, and I feel like the only people I ever run into using this skin are extremely tryhard at the game. I do love it a lot though, I wish this did get added back to the item shop, but honestly it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. One skin that probably will be added back very very soon though is going to be Countess Duraku. This is actually one of the newest item shop skins, it just featured in the store for the first time a few weeks ago, but not too many people people ended up buying this and I feel like it is actually one of the more underrated skins in the game right now. Obviously since it is such a new skin and extremely underrated it also means that really the only people that you see using this skin are going to be some of the more tryhard players in the game. Personally I've only ever seen people using this in the more competitive game modes. I've never come across a casual or a bot using this skin either but if you have make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let's move on though guys to a skin that has been a lot more popular and this is Kuna. Who knows? Kuno is a 1,500 V-Buck skin that has been in the game pretty much since Chapter 1 started. We have seen so many people using this over the last few years, to the point where Fortnite actually added in a second edit style of this. I do really like the default style, but honestly I feel like the second style is a little bit better, just because it is a lot more newer. We also have Incinerator Kuno that was added to the game in Chapter 2, but if I had to pick between all of the different styles for this skin, I still feel like the Blizzard Buster Kuno is going to be the best. We did see a few pros and streamers using this style when it first got added, but I feel like most of the people completely forget about this skin in Fortnite today, and the only people I 
ever see using this are going to be some of the more tryhard players in the game. One skin that you might see a few casuals and bots using though is going to be Antonia. This is the tier 100 skin this season. It is by far one of the best battle pass skins we have seen in a while though. And I think as we move throughout the rest of season four and eventually into chapter five, a lot of those casuals and bots will stop using it to use some of the newer battle pass skins that we do have. And the people that are still using this into chapter five are going to be some of the more try hard players. There are usually one or two battle pass skins from each season that we see try hard players using. And I feel like honestly for this season, it was Piper, Pace and Antonia. Both of these are really clean. I love the way both of these skins look, but out of the two, I honestly think Antonia is just a little bit better. If you think Piper Pace is the better skin though, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But let's move on to a skin that has been in the game now for over four years, and this is Sparkplug. Sparkplug was actually Clix's first tryhard skin, and he is responsible for making this as tryhard as it is today. It did drop off during chapter three and chapter four to the point where hardly no one was using this skin, and that includes tryhard players. But as soon as Clix's locker bundle was introduced and he started using this again, I feel like a lot of people decided to pick this up again, and now we really only see tryhards using this. I haven't come across a Sparkplug skin in the casual game modes of Fortnite for a really long time, but I see a lot of them in the ranked game modes, and that just shows you that a lot of people that are going to be using these skins today are the more tryhard players of Fortnite. We do have two different edit styles of this skin. We have the default blue edit style, and then of course the brand new black edit style of this skin. If I had to pick between the two, I feel like the black edit style is just a little bit better, but either style of this skin is going to be extremely good. Let's move on though guys to the number 10 position, and we have Travis Scott. There are so many amazing skins in Fortnite that have been added over the last few years, and especially some really good male skins as well, but it is harder to find a male skin that has been better than Travis Scott. It was first introduced back during Chapter 2 Season 2 when we had the Travis Scott concert in Fortnite, and honestly, we haven't seen this being added back since. It is by far one of the rarest male skins in the game and just one of the rarest skins in the history of Fortnite. So whenever you come across someone using this, chances are they are either going to be huge Travis Scott fans or they are going to be some of the sweatiest players you ever see. A lot of sweats also prefer to use female skins. So if you are coming across someone using a male skin, I honestly feel like they might just be even better. And if you guys want to stand out even more to the point where you want to show people that you are the best in the game, you want to try out the Terminator edit style. A lot of people that still use Travis Scott do use the default style, but I just feel like the Terminator edit style is going to be so much more rare and definitely show everyone else that you are a major tryhard at Fortnite. Next up though guys, we need to talk about a skin that we haven't really talked about too much on the channel before and this is Sid. Sid is a really underrated skin that not too many people actually have been using. It has been in the game for a really long time. The default style of this skin probably isn't the best, but we have seen a bunch of styles for this skin being added over the last few years and we just got a brand new style for this, which I think is the best style for this skin. This is actually known as the Red Panda Edit Style. I love the way it looks. I think it is so, so clean. And the only people that I've really been seeing using this are going to be tryhard players. Obviously, we might see a few casuals using this from time to time because it is one of the cheapest skins in the game and it does have a bunch of different styles. But for right now, there is only really one set of people using this and that is definitely some of the more tryhard players in the game. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number eight position and we have the Agency Renegades bundle. We don't really include too many bundles on these lists just because there really aren't that many amazing bundles in Fortnite, but the Agency Renegades bundle is the exception to the rule. For 2,500 V-Bucks, you get Shady Zadie and Spy Catcher Siren. There was also a remake of the Cobalt skin in this bundle as well, but I've never seen anyone using it, so please don't be the first person to use this skin. I think Shady Zadie and Spycatcher Siren, though, have to be some of the more tryhard skins in the game. They are some of the best looking skins as well, and even though Zadie and the original Siren skin are really good, these feel like an upgrade of those skins. I only ever see tryhards using these skins though they have just been so so good in fortnite with a bunch of different edit styles that i've 
never really seen bots using these skins. I've also never seen any bots using the Focus skin. Focus is one of my favorite all-time skins. It has been in the game since chapter one and is definitely one of the most tryhard skins in the history of Fortnite. It is sort of known as a controller tryhard skin. A lot of people that were playing on controller made this skin back during chapter two and chapter three, but I feel like a lot of those people have either quit Fortnite competitively or just have started to use some other skins now in Fortnite, but this has definitely remained as one of the more tryhard skins in the game. Maybe not as many controller players are still using this, but if you are a pro on controller, then make sure you try out the brand new style of focus. The original style has been in the game since pretty much the start of chapter one, season eight, but a new style got added a few seasons ago, and I think this is an upgraded style. It does look a lot better. It does look very, very similar to the original style, but I still think it is a lot better. It is also quite cheap as well, coming in at 1,200 V-Bucks, but a skin that is a lot more expensive is going to be Wildcat. And when I say a lot more expensive, this skin costs 400 dollars. Yes guys, it is definitely one of the more expensive skins in the game. We really only have a few skins that cost a thousand dollars and then Wildcat is probably the next most expensive. I really do like this skin though. I think all three edit styles are really, really good, but honestly, I think there are definitely better ways to spend your money. If you were lucky enough to get this with a brand new Nintendo Switch console, then I really recommend using it today. We don't really see too many people using this skin anymore, which is actually quite a shame because I think this is one of my favorite all-time skins and obviously I don't actually own it and it doesn't look like I'm ever gonna have the chance again. Even though all three edit styles for this skin are really good, I think there is one style that is better than the rest and that is the blueprint edit style and I feel like the same can be said for our next skin as well which is Lara Croft. This is definitely a skin that only tryhard players have been using, but there are actually four different styles for this, but we really only see people using the default style. We also have a fully golden edit style and two green PlayStation edit styles of Lara Croft, but nothing compares to the popularity of the default style. I also think we do see a bunch of casuals using this skin as well, but I'm sure at one point or another, they were some of the most tryhard players on their friends list and in the game as well. We see a bunch of pros and streamers still using this skin today especially in tournaments so I feel like this is still considered a tryhard skin but honestly you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below if you ever come across bots or casuals using this skin. Let's move on though guys to the number four position and we have Aura. Aura is an 800 V-Bucks skin in Fortnite that has been in the game since chapter one season eight. That is such a long time that's like five years that this skin has actually been in Fortnite but still I think this is a skin that only tryhards have been using. Even if you started off as as a casual player using this skin, you probably practice box fighting and work on your creative skills every single day to the point now where you are considered a tryhard player. We have so many different edit styles for this skin as well. If I had to pick which one was my favorite, I think the fully hooded edit style is going to be the best, but the default style and now the golden edit style also look really, really clean. We do also have more remakes of this skin in Fortnite as well, like the fresh aura skin and the championship aura as well, but the original aura would have to be my favorite. Another skin that has been in Fortnite for a really long time now is actually the superhero skins. It might seem like these weren't as old as some of the other skins we've talked about, but these were added back during chapter two, season four, which is like three years ago today. That is so insane. I feel like this season was just yesterday. I absolutely loved it so much. And I remember when these skins were added to the game. You can pick these up for 1,800 V-Bucks. They have so much customizations with these that makes them so unique and unlike anything we had ever seen seen before up until that point. Usually though, today we see a bunch of people using the fully white or the fully gray edit style of this skin, but I still see a bunch of tryhard players using different and random customizations for this with some really unique edit styles, which is what I absolutely love to see. I feel like this just makes it even better and it makes this skin a lot more popular and unique as well. So if that is you, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Another customizable skin that only tryhard players have been using though is Caper. This is one of the newer skins in the game. It was added at the start of chapter four, season four, and you can pick these up for quite a good price. I feel like people were just 
starting to get sick of using the superhero skins and that is where Caper comes into this absolutely perfectly. People usually swap out skins for something that is quite similar and Caper is definitely very similar to the superhero skins. The design of these are just so so clean and if you like highly customizable skins then you need to own Caper. But unfortunately it isn't going to be the skin that most tryhards are using today and that is because the number one skin has to be the Renegade Raider. Yes guys, the Renegade Raider is by far the skin that only tryhard players have been using. There is a reason for this, obviously this was one of the first ever skins that we saw in the game. It was added back during Chapter 1, Season 1, during the first ever seasonal shop, and this is never going to be added back. So the only people that have this skin were people that were definitely streamers or YouTubers back during Chapter 1 or Season 1, and were willing to spend money on the game before anyone else. Obviously if this was added to the game today, a lot more people would be using it, but I feel like that would sort of ruin this skin in a way, and just by how many different different edit styles of this skin there are now in Fortnite should show you guys how many people actually want this original style and just how good it actually is. But there you guys go, that is my list for 24 skins only tryhards use. Make sure to let me know which skin is your favorite and if you disagree with any of them, also make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and click the video on your screen now.